This is Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. The official podcast of Film Book. Get ready for the latest in film news, TV show news, and theatrical reviews. Film Book's podcast starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Film Bookcast. The official podcast of Filmbook. My name is Chris Banks. If you're tuning in for the first time, what I do on Filmbook has, I discuss the latest film and TV show news. I also review an in-theater film. You can find more about Filmbook Cast on film-book.com by using the search term Filmbook Cast. You can also email us at podcast at film-book.com with Filmbook Cast in the subject line. Now let's head on over to some TV news from this week. Some exciting d- TV news for Star Wars fans. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is joining the upcoming Star Wars series on Disney+, Plus, centered on Rosario Dawson's Ex-Jedi, we learned this week. Along with Winstead and Dawson, the series titled Ahsoka is bringing back Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader. Christensen is also returning for the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series opposite Ian McGregor. Plot details for Ahsoka are being kept under wraps, but the series will be set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, whose first season took place five years after the return of the Jedi. Exciting news for Disney and Star Wars fans. Some more TV news from this week. Apple TV is really expanding its offerings. It's completely revolutionized itself in the few years of its existence. This week, a massive deal was signed with Legendary's MonsterVerse and Apple TV. They've ordered a new live-action series featured Godzilla and the Titans. Following the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that leveled San Francisco and the shocking new reality that monsters are real, the untitled series explores one family's journey to uncover its buried secrets and a legacy linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. The series is going to be produced by Legendary Television, But there's no word yet about when this series will debut. We'll keep up with news about this as I'm sure the trailer is going to be insane. Exciting news for Apple TV Plus fans. Wrapping up the week in TV news, Umbrella Academy Season 3 casts Euphoria's Javon Walton. He'll play a member of the Sparrow Academy. It's currently unknown what character he'll be playing, superpowered or otherwise, but he will certainly find himself in an entirely different universe in the Umbrella Academy relative to his character in Euphoria. That's it for TV news. Some film news from this week. The latest bit of news from Mission Impossible 7 and 8 has fans disappointed as the both films have been pushed back again. Mission Impossible 7 is now slated for release in 2023, with Mission Impossible 8 slated for release the next year in 2024. Paramount Pictures announced this week. The release dates for both films have been postponed numerous times due to the ongoing pandemic. It sounds like Paramount is holding out for when moviegoers have a more normal theatrical experience, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. But definitely some disappointing news for fans of Mission Impossible as we've been waiting for this film for a while now. In some more movie news, Knives Out 2 fans, Ron Johnson's hugely anticipated mystery sequel may be headed to theaters, Netflix, and fall festivals towards the end of 2022. Variety reported this week that the follow-up is expected to be released in theaters and the streaming platform in the last quarter of 2022. The original Knives Out was released by Lionsgate in the fall of 2019. The movie earned $311 million on a budget of $40 million. Netflix bought the rights for Knives Out 2 for an astonishing $450 million. It's Netflix's biggest deal in film, pur- in film purchasing in their history. Plot details for the film remain tightly guarded, though production did conclude in September of this year. Daniel Craig is returning to reprise his role as Detective Bennett Blank. The usual stacked cast will join him on the adventure, including Edward Norton, Leslie Odom Jr., Kate Hudson, and many, many others. Steve Yedlin, Jimmy Egan, and Bob Duxey, cinematographer, costume designer, and editor are all returning to Knives Out 2. We'll keep up with news as Knives Out 2 releases their official release date probably around the summer. Wrapping up the week in film news, I know we just left the Christmas season, but I'm going to yank us back to talk about an insane sequel that's coming out for Warner Brothers and HBO Max. 
The film was titled A Christmas Story Christmas. Fans of TNT or TBS's A Christmas Story Marathon on Christmas Day will be excited as the sequel is going to take place in the 1970s, 30 years after the original film was set in the 1940s. Adult Ralphie, played by the original child star Peter Billingsley, is going to be an adult and bringing his own kids back home to live in the Cleveland Street house that his parents made famous in the original Christmas Story. The film will aim to have the same period attention to detail in recreating the 70s as the original film did a good job in recreating the 1940s. It will show Ralphie reconnecting with his childhood friends and reconciling the passing of his old man. Clay Cadis will write and direct the script. No word yet on when the film will debut, but I'm sure it'll be at least by next Christmas season. Not this one coming up, but very exciting news for fans of A Christmas Story. That's it for film news for this week. This week in home releases sees a slew of really exciting and popular titles. The first, Escape the Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy, an unexpected love triangle, a failed seduction, and a chance encounter with the past. The Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy got an 87 meter score and is now available on DVD. Titan is also available on DVD. One of 2021's hottest titles. Titan is a wild ride it it almost reminds me of at zola in its aesthetics but it's about i think it's about a sex worker i'm not even really sure what it's about but titane is now available on dvd and it got a 75 meter score the adams family 2 is now available on dvd tangled up in a more wacky adventure and they find themselves involved in a hilarious run-ins with all sorts of unsuspecting characters it's a sequel to the 2019 the adams family the adams family 2 got a 37 meter score and is now available on dvd also available on dvd is beans 12 year old beans is on the edge torn between an innocent childhood and a delinquent adolescence. She's forced to grow up fast to become the tough Mohawk warrior she needs to be during the indigenous uprising known as the Okioka Crisis, which tore Quebec and Canada apart for 78 tense days in the summer of 1990. Beans got a 74 meter score and is now available on DVD. Last Night in Soho is now available on DVD. Eloise, an aspiring fashion designer, is mysteriously able to enter the 1960s when she encounters a dazzling wannabe singer, Sandy. But the glamour is not all what it appears to be, and the dreams of the past start to crack and splinter into something far darker. Last Night in Soho got a 65 meter score and is now available on DVD. Lastly, The Dry is now available on DVD. Based on the global bestseller by Jane Harper, a federal agent's homecoming leads to a deeply personal murder investigation that reopens old wounds and threatens to unravel the tight-knit small town. The Dry got a 69 meter score and is now available on DVD. That's it for home releases. Let's switch up gears now and head on over to some TV trailers from this week. This week brought us the trailer for the new season of Star Trek Pickard. It'll debut February 3rd. Fans of the show will be surprised as Whoopi Goldberg is back. Check out the newest trailer for Star, for Star Trek Picard. It'll debut on Paramount+. Plus. Whoopi Goldberg is returning to the Star Trek universe in Season 2 of Paramount Plus's Picard, reprising the role of Junian in multiple episodes. We'll keep up with news as Star... We'll keep up with news as the new season of Star Trek Picard will debut February 3rd, I believe. Another TV trailer that debuted this week is Marvel's most watched trailer in the history of Marvel. The TV show is called... Is titled Moon Knight. It stars Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke. It looks absolutely amazing. Check out the trailer for Moon Knight. The last TV trailer we'll check out this week comes to us from Amazon Prime, and it's the Lord of the Rings TV series. It's called The Rings of Power, and it'll debut on Amazon Prime September 2nd of this year. It takes place during the fabled Second Age, thousands of years prior to the events of both Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. It'll take viewers back into an era in which great powers were forged, kingdoms rose to glory, and fell to ruin. Unlikely heroes were tested. Hope hung by the finest of threads and the greatest villain that ever flowed from Tolkien's pen threatened to cover all the world in darkness. The trailer doesn't really show us much, but it definitely builds hype and suspense for a show that is rumored to cost upwards of a billion dollars. Check out the trailer for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. We'll, we'll see it on Amazon Prime September 2nd. That's it for TV trailers. This Week in Movie Trailers has a great film adaptation on a 
novel written by Jandy Nelson. The novel's titled The Sky is Everywhere, and the film is by A24, and it's titled the same thing. It's going to be available for streaming on Apple TV Plus February 11th, and it's about a 17-year-old girl as she deals with the aftermath following the sudden loss of her older sister. She falls in love, and it's really a heartwarming story about young love and growing up with grief as well. It's a beautiful story. Check out the trailer for The Sky is Everywhere. It'll be streamable on Apple TV Plus February 11th. An exciting film trailer that debuted this week will come in theaters March 18th. The film title is Expired. It's a futuristic thriller about a hitman who meets a mysterious woman who comes down with a deadly illness. The trailer is very exciting. It stars Ryan Quentin, Hugo Weaving, Jillian Nguyen, and is directed by Ivan Sen. I think Sen has written multiple sci-fi thrillers, but check out the trailer for Expired. It's about a hitman and his chance meeting with a mysterious woman. It'll debut in theaters March 18th. The last film trailer we'll talk about this week is a pretty sick uh, concept but it's actually also beautiful the title is moon manor sometimes learning how to live is learning how to die i guess the makers of moon manor give us a synopsis that on his last day alive jimmy will show his estranged brother salt of an earth caretaker sharp-witted death doula and a novice obituary writer that sometimes the art of living just might be the art of dying moon manor is an exploration of what it means to have a good death and it's inspired by the life stories of 84 year old lead actor james caruso moon manor will debut in theaters march 11th check out the trailer that's it for movie trailers Thanks so much for checking us out this week. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Film Bookcast. You can find more of my work on film-book.com. Just search for Chris Banks or Film Bookcast. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at C Banksy. That's S-E-E Banksy. I'm also on Instagram at the Chris Banks. If you listen to this podcast on iTunes or another podcast service, please rate and review this episode. If you're listening to this podcast on our YouTube channel, Film Book Podcast, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comment section. It really helps other people discover our podcast. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com slash filmbook. Your support really helps us create more engaging content. You'll find our Patreon link below in the description. If you want to tweet about this podcast, just use the hashtag filmbookcast. Tune in next week for the next episode of the Filmbook Cast. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you then.